how to make a GIF with GeoGebra. Now, a GIF is a picture with looping animations like the one showing on the screen. So we are going to look at how to design this GIF in GeoGebra. So you launch your GeoGebra, then we don't need the axis, so right click and click on axis. Then we also don't need the algebra view. We just need the graphics view. Now, before we can create an animation or GIF in GeoGebra, we need to create what we call a slider. So you click on the slider, then click anywhere in the graphics view then because we are dealing with polygons we are going to look at integer values that is positive integers the minimum value of the number of size of a polygon is 3 then the maximum in this our case we are going to look we are going to consider up to the decagon so the maximum value is 10 for us now then we, we click apply now we need to draw a polygon which is a regular polygon so select the regular polygon then we click and click again then it will ask us the number of sides we want to draw because we don't want to draw one specific polygon you put n there then you click ok so now n is 10 so it has drawn a decagon for us so when we move the slider and when we change the number of size the polygon also changes and we know that the list is going to give us a triangle now let me adjust it well so that our polygon is too big so let's delete it and draw another one so we go to a regular polygon then we click then we click again so we put in the number of size to be n and we press ok so now we have gotten our polygon to be a decagon as you can see. So now we need to program it such that when it is three sides showing, it will write triangles, four squares, then five, pentagon, and so on and so forth. We use the insert test too. To write the name of the polygons so we collateral triangle then okay then another one a square so you repeat this until you've done up to the decagon then now we want this to show only when the number of size is equal to 3 so what we do is we right click on it and go to object properties 
then we go to advance then we show the condition condition to show object so this object should show if the number of size is equal to three then you press enter so because the number of three is not the number of size is not equal to three it is not showing then the square should also show when the number of size is equal to four so we go to object properties then we type four that is n equal four So because now n is not equal to 4, neither 3, so both of them are not showing. So now you can see now that n equal 3, so we can see collateral triangle. Then you move it to the next one, 4, a square. So you repeat the same thing until you are able to do for all. So if you are able to do for all, you get something like this get something like this so that when you change the number of so that as n changes the size of the polygon also changes then the writings also show accordingly so now to create the animation or the GIF we have finished creating the animations already so we export it to GIF we go to file then we go to export export graphic view as animated GIF then you select where you want it to be exported to one of the properties of a GIF is that it loops so select or check the as loop checkbox then click export to where you want it to be exported to so I'll name it as poly poly so now I go to the folder where I've save it then click on it so you can see that we're able to create a GIF with GeoGebra